Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. In today's video, we are going to solve a complex scenario like converting your calendar date to physical date. And also we will see a scenario with respect to that. That is, uh, I want to see sales with respect to my physical year and also with respect to my calendar year. So for this user wanted a toggle button. So here, if you see, when I select a calendar, it is giving me sales with respect to my calendar year. And when I'm selecting fiscal year, it is giving me sales with respect to my fiscal year. Now let us get started without wasting much time. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. So the first thing that we need to understand here is what is uh, a calendar year and what is a fiscal year. So calendar year means what? Anything that is starting or, you know, that is something that is starting from January, right? So it will ja uh, start from January and it will end in December. This is a normal calendar year. Okay. But in real time, your company's fiscal year might start in April and, you know, end it in March. So, which means April will become one for us, right? And March will become 12th month for us. So, we have to adjust our calculation accordingly so that Tableau can take, you know, the months accordingly. So, for that, the first approach is what we can do here is we can use inbuilt function that is given by Tableau. You can always click on this order date. Click on that. There is an option called as default properties. Go to that. And under that, you will have an option called as fiscal year start. So it is asking us when is your fiscal year starting. So by default, it is January. But if at all you want to change it to April, I can change it. Now, if I bring it back into the view, you see automatically FY is getting added, right? And if I try to drill down, now you see FY20, Q1, Q2, and if I drill down further March to the month level, my first month is April, May, June. And in that I have my quarter one. Likewise, July, August, September, which is my Q2, October, November, December as my Q3 and Q4 like that. So you can use an inbuilt function, something like this to convert your fiscal year, sorry, to your year to your fiscal year. So what is the calculation that we can write for the same here? Okay, uh, what I'm doing is again, I'm converting back to our normal here, here to bring it back to our normal thing. So now again, if I try to uh, bring this, you will see normal years here and normal thing 2019 it is starting from january and ending in december so you can change it accordingly now i'm trying to write a calculation to get the same fiscal year okay if my month of order date is greater than or equal to four which means what when i'm changing or if my month is greater than four, then I want my year of order date to get added with the plus one, right? That is when it changes. So because after four, it will change. Otherwise, give me simple year of order date and I am ending it, okay? Now, because I want to append FY in the starting, I am trying to add FY here in the beginning. And because this is of a string type and we cannot, you know, concatenate these two, I'm converting my rest also into string here. Okay. Just putting everything in the bracket. Click apply. Okay. Now, when I try to bring this into the view here, okay, observe how it is changing. Okay. For FY29, we have one. For FY20, we have two again like that now if i change or bring a month here okay and i'm making it discrete you see my fiscal year the calculation that we have written has april 2019 which is our first month to march 20 which means it is working according to how we need that to be okay so that is the first thing now i want to create a toggle button for the same Okay, so what I'm doing is I am creating a parameter called as uh, uh, choose calendar. 
and in that i'm writing a list of values maybe i'll take integer you can take float also up to you but i'm just taking integer okay so when it is one i want a calendar here to be displayed and when it is two i want a fiscal year to be displayed okay click okay so i've just created show parameter calendar and fiscal year now uh, let us write a calculation here okay if sorry case of my choose calendar okay when it is one then i need our fiscal year and when it is two then i need our year of order date simple okay i'm ending it simple so let us cross verify here i'm just uh, okay uh, i'm just so when it is one it is calendar what did we write okay so we wrote reverse here i'll just make it reverse two and one but because our fiscal year is in string format okay again i'm converting this into str of year of order date okay simple i will just drop it into view when it is fiscal year fy is coming and i'm just adding sales into the view and when i'm changing calendar it is calendar okay so it is working according to how we need it so you can adjust this parameter or use case in your project also to implement it if at all you need a similar situation so i hope this video has helped you if it does don't forget to like share and subscribe see you in the next video till then bye bye and have a good day